Hello and welcome to the webinar on the series of research and sources. Um, this is the second webinar and we will be looking at um, the, the catalog called Library Catalog Plus in our university. Um, to use a library search portal is quite um, good in the sense that we have um, more access to things that are not available um, via Google search or Google Scholar. So the webinar will be showing you um, where to find the Catalog Plus to familiarize you with the search features. Um, they highlight two main um, ways to search your material, um, books and more articles and more, and how to use the filters in the website to, um, you know, concentrate and search better um, sources for your research writing. So let's um, very quickly start a web page. So I use Bing, you can use um, other search engine, and then you need to then type um, Hochschüler Rheinwald. You can type it in full, or you can type the abbreviation HSRW, and then you type in Catalog Plus. And the search will bring um, you to this page, and the bottom one option is the German version, and the top option is the English version. So I will click on this one and it will open up a window for you. Oh, it didn't. Just go to the next page. And here you can already see the front page of the Catalog Plus. Mm, on the right column here, there are more information database e-journal interlibrary loan and if you like to read a little bit more you can also download the guide here or guide there and this is how it looks like I'll just do it one time to show you um, and it's quite important I think in page 4 later I'll show you later um, what is it about so you can click here or you can click there. But I will just open the copy from my folder. Okay, so it did say, um, you can see already the two phrases I mentioned earlier. Books and more means um, all the return results from our collection from two of the campuses, both Kamplinford and here in Clever. So primarily uh, monographs and journals available online or print. And then here in the articles, um, it talks a little bit, it search a little bit more using other database and e-journals that are available via um, subscriptions or us having to subscribe to having licenses. So what does this mean that um, you won't be able to access it from Google search? Um, you have to access it from this Catalog Plus and if you're not on campus then uh, the Catalog Plus will then um, ask for your li library card number and your password. Then you will have access to these sources as well as a student here. So once um, you're familiarized with these things, these features here, then you go under Quick Link and choose Catalog Plus. <clears throat> and in Catalog Plus, it, you can already see the other three features in Catalog Plus. There you go. Database, interlibrary loan, and e-journals. Yeah, database and e-journal. We will talk a little bit about this in the next um, webinar.
but this is where the catalog plus link will bring you this is the page on your left side you will see some features here my list previous searches additional database and so on so the my list and previous searches um, whatever you've searched um, will be saved permanently especially my list my list would be you know some potential books you like to borrow will go into your list by adding that feature i will show you later but they will be um, saved permanently and you can preview it again if you log in so if you want to just quickly search for a book and borrow then maybe you do not want to log in but if you want to search for the purpose of you know for your research writing i would suggest that you use your user id which is on your library card and your password and i believe that would be your birth date and once you log in um, anything you save on the my list it will be permanently saved and to remove them you have to remove them manually so if you want to just search something then you can type in anything you like and then click um, start search Oop, I accidentally clicked on it but um, if you think you have more information you want to key in, you can use this feature. And then you can add whatever necessary information that's there to help you um, filter your research. And then you can do a start search. There is some kind of reading to tell you about some symbols that can help you as well to search properly. Um, I will talk about this in the next webinar as well. So let's do a simple search so that you are more familiar with the library features, uh, the catalog plus features. So let's do a search on academic writing. And then right away you see a different format on the page there is some information on the media icons so then you can see oh this icon it's a book and even when your cursor is over this icon the book a book word will be popped up to show you you know so this will help you to find out what kind of media you're looking at and then you can have two features books and more and it tells you all right academic writing for books and more 49 hits and academic articles for and more for academic writing oh my gosh it's in the millions okay so this can be really overwhelming because it's a lot so hence you need this right hand column features and there are the filters okay you can filter them from newest on your first list so this is definitely not new 2008 the newest i assume either this year or last year so i want the library to do the newest or if you're searching for something historical then you might want to choose the oldest first you can also have the option of choosing the dates between what date to what date or you can use this little measurement to help you as well on top of that here it says already refine your search results by looking at some of these features now again um, that's why I earlier I asked you to download the PDF help um, because um, somehow um, the librarians told me that they are this is definitely an English page, you can see that, but the features, the fi filters are not translated. So what the librarians did was in page four, um, they managed to, you know, um, translate it here for us. <coughs> so if you're not very good in German, then you can download this and especially words like fast shift. Um, I didn't know it until I see it, you know, commemorative publication, conference shift, 
in conference publication, and so on and so forth. The Nakshlag Gewerk reference book. So it's quite helpful to have this copy with you. Otherwise, um, you can click and try your best and guess which one you like it. But you know, after using it for quite some time, then you will be familiar with these German um, filters as well. I mean, these filters in the German language. So the, the filters help you to see, you know, if I just want to look at um, electronic sources, I only have five. Then it filters and it refines my search to five materials that might help me. Okay. Or if I go to articles and more, then it does somehow refine a little bit. But I will show you later some of these um, search symbol to help you to even more refine your search. But the cool part about these features is you can see and take a look. Um, it even filters, you know, there's a specific publisher you might just want to look at and that narrows down quite a head, you know, quite a lot. And if you want to see what other publishers that's out there, and then you can see, whoa, there's quite a lot of publishers for academic writing. So you might want to go by publishers. You, know, you might be familiar with some popular publishers. Or you might want to look at them from language point of view. English, French, Chinese, German, yeah? And so many more. Oh my gosh, that's a lot more. Or, wow, that's a lot, yeah? And then so on and so forth. So the filters are very um, nice because it refines your search. It helps you to focus more on what you really want to look at. So that's all for this particular webinar. And we're going to look a little bit more on the features of special symbols to help you to find your material better. And then later in the series of these webinars, we're going to look at the database and how you can do an interlibrary loan as well. All right. So um, have a nice day. See you in the next webinar. Bye-bye.